These days, Olena Kurte is cleaning hotel rooms in Poland. Less than a decade ago, she was teaching law in the Ukrainian city of Gorlivka. Today, I have to clean 12 rooms for new guests arriving and 18 rooms after guests leave. Of 11 or 12 employees, only two are Poles. I guess Ukrainian women like to work, and for now, they probably don't have other options. It is a life change that she did not expect. I was working on my PhD. I planned to get it at 26 or 27. But it wasn't meant to be. In 2014, Olena, her husband and their two children left their native Horlivka in Ukraine's Donetsk region. People in military uniforms appeared. We did not understand what was going on. We traveled to the seaside in shorts and t-shirts. It's now been eight or nine years since we left and never came back. We left everything behind – apartments, houses, businesses. After moving around for some time, the family finally settled in Hryvyi Rih in 2017. In Hryvyi Rih we opened a private kindergarten. I loved it. I felt like I belonged there. Three years ago, while still in Hryvyi Rih, Olena's husband Rustam became seriously ill. When the Russians invaded in 2022, the family was forced to move again, this time to Poland, because Rustam was no longer able to receive medical treatment in Ukraine due to the war. After crossing the Polish border on March 21st, the family settled at a boarding house near Kraków. Kurta says leaving her home for the second time was less painful. In 2022, it was somehow easier to part with a home. I realized there is nothing more precious than life and our children. Kurta's family moved into a single room in an apartment in the town of Myšlenice, near Kraków, and started looking for a job. One day, my husband and I were walking along the river in Kraków and saw a hotel. It turned out they needed people, and I got a job as a maid. Olena says she is grateful to Poles and local Ukrainian organizations for their help, but dreams of returning to Kriverich and visiting her native Horlivka after Russian forces leave. Yet she does not rule out the possibility that her family might stay in Poland, where yet again they have started to build something new. Tetyana Voroshkovio, News, Krakow, Poland.